Hi there, welcome to a presentation by CBH Education in our pharmacy revision series. Today we're going to be talking about trimethoprim. So trimethoprim inhibits bacterial phthalate synthesis, slowing bacterial growth and therefore it's bacteriostatic. Key side effects include gastrointestinal upset, skin rash, hematological disorders and hyperkalemia. One of the key drug interactions in this from a safety point of view in both secondary care, primary care, and even if patients are presenting at community pharmacy, methotrexate and trimethoprim should not be co-administered with each other. Um, and therefore, patients who are on this combination, they must be given an alternative immediately. Aldosterone antagonists can cause hyperkalemia. Key monitoring is the full blood count. And obviously, long-term use of this is linked to hematological disorders. And that's why, obviously, we do the full blood count now elements you may come across in your clinical practice or to help you with your revision is you've got two things with trimethoprim it's used in urinary tract infections it's also used in the prophylaxis of urinary tract infections as well now when you're doing medication reviews or medicines use review in community pharmacy most places or most guidances, when you look at localised guidances, will require initiation by a specialist for a six month period. Now, generally, patients should be taking this for six months and then obviously you should have the treatment withdrawn to see what it see what effect it has. You get some patients that develop resistance to trimethoprim um, over the course of long term treatments. Therefore, they're put onto other agents such as nitrofurantoin which we'll discuss about in a later presentation. One of the things with this also is if they are prophylaxis, you may patients have patients find rotating with different antibiotics to reduce the risk of resistance. This includes then going on to trimethoprim, then on a course of nitroferantoin, then cephalexin as well. So if you do come across this on a repeat prescription, um, this may be the rationale why. The medication obviously has to be initiated by a urologist. It's absolutely key because obviously they're the expertise around this area as well and then prescribing is transferred to primary care consult your local guidances for the prophylaxis element of um using antibiotics with urinary tract infections renal impairment is probably one of the key take-home messages so obviously the manufacturer advises a dose reduction of half the normal dose after three days if the egfr is between 50 to 30 ml per minute and obviously um, the manufacturer advises a dose reduction to half the normal dose if the EGFR is less than 15 mils per minute as well. And this is something that obviously you do have to look out for when you are um, dispensing this drug or is being prescribed by a GP or you're doing an audit around this as well. Patients should be counselled on blood disorders for the long term use of this. So like with methotrexate, um, they need to be counselled on um, symptoms such as fever, sore throat, rash, mouth ulcers, purpura, bruising, and if bleeding develops. Now, obviously, this does come in your OSCE, so it's really worth understanding the symptoms that patients have to look out for, and obviously, in the patient care or advice that you would give them as well. Also, with the prophylaxis, sometimes historically, um, patients may have been initiated 200 milligram it's usually the 100 milligram dose you give for prophylactic treatment as well um, that's pro a common mistake that you do find and it's worth look it's obviously worth liaising with the GP um, with regards to this when you're performing your medication reviews as well thank you very much to for listening to this presentation by CBH Education for further presentations on drugs pharmacology OTC conditions OTC medications the legal aspects of prescribing. Please follow us on our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channels.